overflows. Choiceless awareness. Awareness is always choiceless, but in order to attain to the choicelessness in awareness, you have to learn to be aware moment to moment. Be aware of small things as you interact with objects and beings on a day-to-day -day or moment-to-moment -moment basis. During 24 hours, you interact with so many circumstances, situations and persons in life. Have you noticed how many times you are aware? Simple thing, you are taking a shower. Are you aware at that time? Are you aware when you are removing your clothes? Clothes that has given to you comfort, protection during the day. Now to take the shower you have to take them off. They may be dirty now, but they have served their purpose. You have used an umbrella when it was raining. When you come back home, you do not need the umbrella. Do you handle it or put it with awareness? Are you aware when you are putting back the umbrella? Or the shoes that has given you an elegance and protection when you was out and now you have returned home. Are you aware when you are taking out your shoes? No, we are not. It is said that a man came, wanted to learn about meditation. So he came to a Sufi master, Junaid. When he came, it was raining, so he came with his umbrella and he was a little bit late. He flung the door open and take out the shoe. The shoe flung in the air and fell scattered. When he, after that he went for the meditation, Junaid asked him, you have to apologize to the shoes first before you can learn the art of meditation. Or which side of the door did you place your umbrella? All these things are necessary for meditation, Junaid said. If you want to learn meditation, you have to be aware. This is moment to moment awareness. Being aware of small things. We do things mechanically. We drive our car. While driving the car, we are thinking. We are in a thought process. Emotional disturbance or whatsoever may be or imagining something. And when you are returning home, automatically a steering wheel turns the vehicle towards the home. Are you aware then? And when you are aware of small things that are happening, taking a shower, sipping the tea, or eating the food, are you swallowing it or eating it with awareness? Or you are doing simultaneously several things. Then, when you are living life moment to moment with awareness, a point comes when your 
awareness becomes choiceless. You have no choice either. As the awareness flowers within, you become choiceless. So choicelessness is the outcome of living life moment to moment. When you are living life full of awareness moment to moment, bliss and compassion blossoms and that is the fragrance of choiceless awareness. It has nothing to do, choiceless awareness has nothing to do with positive thinking. The technique of positive thinking is not really a technique that can transform you. But psychologically you are told to be, to have a positive thinking. Positive thinking is simply is the process to repress the negative aspects of your conscious mind. Your conscious mind has two sides, the positive aspect and the negative aspect. So you are suppressing the negative things and that is what positive thinking is all about. It is a matter of choice whether to be positive or negative. So at times you choose the negative thinking, other times you use the positive aspect and therefore it cannot help awareness and it goes against awareness. Awareness is always choiceless. I am against positive thinking with a choice comes between awareness and positive thinking. My focus is on awareness. You will be surprised that if you do not choose and you have a choiceless awareness, your life will start expressing something which is beyond both positive and negative aspects instead higher than both if you have developed through the process of being aware moment to moment a choiceless awareness your life will start expressing something which is beyond both positive and negative so you are not going to be a loser in any way but there remains a fear in you if you do not choose the positive thinking, then something will, be, will go wrong in you. It is not going to be negative, it is not going to be positive either. Instead, it is going to be existential. You have known only positive thinking and negative thinking, not that something which is beyond the two that is existential. Existential choice. If you want to attain total freedom, then do not choose. That is where the teaching of choiceless awareness comes in. This is the reason why the great masters insisted, insisted just be aware and not to choose. Slowly and slowly as awareness deepens, the choicelessness comes. Remember the moment you choose, you have lost your freedom. You are left with only one part positive or negative. But if you remain choiceless, your freedom remains total. So there is only one thing which is totally free and that is choiceless awareness. Everything else has limitations and is finite. Never choose. If you choose, you will be in, a, in the quagmire. Therefore, do not choose. A choiceless awareness is the goal and the way to just remain aloof and do not choose. The moment you choose, you have fallen into the trap of the world or into the trap of the mind. Whatsoever you choose, 
at one time or the other you will have to repent because the other will remain haunting you if you have chosen one aspect the other will remain haunting you if you need absolute freedom then choiceless awareness is the only thing awareness means you come with an inner light you move fully alert each step is taken in awareness the walking the coming and sitting everything is done in full awareness or becomes the epitome of awareness we have to if you practice this alone everything else becomes secondary and this will transform your life you don't need any technique you don't need any meditation tech therapies or anything if you are aware you speak with awareness words are over you are not only speaking but you are hearing also the modulation and everything that is happening at that moment but the awareness comes from the innerness or being it flows from the inner being towards the other awareness is the inner quality of consciousness it has nothing to do with eyes open or closed you can be aware with eyes closed or with open you nobody will know that you are practicing awareness normally you are walking doing everything that is needed awareness is inner quality it is the inner quality of consciousness nothing to do with closing or keeping the eyes open it has its own light and vision you are walking in the store you are doing everything that is needed but you are aware therefore walk with awareness eat with awareness breathe with awareness whatsoever you do i do not ask you to change your habits whatsoever you are doing do it with awareness then awareness will become the breath and the life force in you i had explained to you many times the story of nagarjun a thief came to him he said many times i wanted to follow the religious path but wherever i went they told me to stop stealing first only then you can learn so i can be your disciple only if you do not ask me to leave stealing nagarjun said i have no problem with that you continue doing what you are doing continue stealing but when there is one thing i would like you to do when you are stealing be aware of stealing you are doing anything even if you are doing uh, smoking if you are making love be aware of it that's all is my uh, condition so he said that's not a problem he said when you are going to steal when you are going to break open this uh, this safe be aware and that changes the entire life i had spoken enough about it to you only this much for now